Hi everyone. Today, we're going to practice some multiplication problems that involve finding out the relationship between factors and products. So here we have a chart, and let's see what they want us to do. Fill the missing numbers on the lines. The first one has been done for you. So we have the first factor, which is 45, the second factor, which is 4, and the product, that's 180. So what this means is 45, which is the first factor, times the second factor, 4, is going to give us a certain product of 180. So what happens is when you see first factor and second factor, you should think multiplication. Because whenever you see the word product, that means the answer is part of a multiplication problem. So here, let's take a look at the first example we have there, which is 3 times 38 or 38 times 3 because we're doing multiplication and that's a really cool thing about multiplication. The first factor can come first and then the second factor or the second factor can come first and then the first factor. So let's do 37, 38, I mean, times 3. And notice I'm writing it in column form. So what I do first is go 3 times 8 equals 24. So I'm going to write 4 down here and then put, carry the 2 up here and then 3 times 3, which is 9, and then I add the 2. So 9 plus 2 is going to give me 11. So since I have nothing else to multiply by, I can write 11 here, 11. And then the answer for this one is 114.